Hi guys and welcome back to Chimera Land. Today we're going to look at collecting Starstone, how to get it and the easiest ways to do so. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so first up we head across to the Spirit Orb and we are looking to research the Hook Claw. So if we go down to Gadgets, there is a Hook Claw 1, Hook Claw 2 and Hook Claw 3. So depending on what level you want to have, you just need to research those three. Now once you've researched the hook claw, all we need to do is head across to our workbench, go into tools and we can craft the grapple hook. So there are three levels, same as research. Um, there's just the green level grapple hook. And then we have the blue. And then we also have a purple level grapple hook. And it's just a matter of doing the research and then you can just craft them at the workbench. So once we have the grapple hook ready to go, what we can do is we'll head up to space. Okay, in order to get to space the quickest way you can, just pick your fastest pet you have and start flying. So one thing to watch your pets when you're flying up into space is just to keep an eye on their stamina bar. It will empty um, and when it does just let them hover to regain their stamina. Um, just keep an eye on it though because if you do actually run it out they will start to fall so if they do that just click the fly button again and they will hover there and regain their stamina um, this trip's quite a long one I think it took me about six minutes and the pinna puppy is actually pretty fast there is another way to get up there if you want to um, get arrested you can either attack a player um, attack a building and you will get arrested and you get teleported up to the jail which is in space um, okay here we are up in space um, what I'm just doing is looking for which it's not in minerals um, just looking for where the star stones are so we can actually do a search so I've just gone into my search so under scavenge there it is so we've got star stone under scavenge so we just hit search and we've got some above us there. Now what they look like is um, little blue shiny sort of um, I guess rocks in space. Um, they are a bit of a nightmare as far as landing on them and um, trying to find new ones but we'll go up and we will mine the ones that we've found there. Okay so here we are we're pretty close now and as you can see they are sort of pretty small um, as I said they're shiny blue rocks which you can see there and the first one isn't too bad you can sort of land your pet on it but the rest um, yeah it's it's a bit interesting to try and get to the next one to mine anyhow we've got this one here we'll just land on it and we can mine that rock now when you mine the rock it disappears and you will start to fall so best thing to do is just to have a look around and see where the nearest um, I suppose next rock that you want to mine so there's one not too far from us so face that direction um, equip your grapple so you won't fall and won't have to worry about trying to equip it because as soon as you mine this rock as I said um, it'll disappear and you'll start to fall um, you generally can't remount your pet once you're out there so all you can do is use the grapple to get around so we will mine this um, you might get lucky and you can get back on your pet but if you get away from him um, you won't be able to get back to him so here's another couple of stones so all we want to do is just grapple towards it they are very easy to miss I am horrible at doing this it took me forever and um, I found the easiest way is just to grapple above them and then just to sort of keep grappling just above the rock and try and time it so you'll actually hit the rock and land on it so there we go there now once again just keep an eye on the next rock or the next closest so you know which way to go and you can mind why you still have that one sort of in your sights 
Now, unfortunately, with these, as you saw there, there is no guarantee you'll actually get star stones from these. It's um, a bit of a pain to get around and to mine every single one. But stay up there for as long as you can. Just go from rock to rock. The grapple is really good. It will sort of pull you up, down, across, wherever you need to go. And that way you can continually just go up. If you start to fall, just grapple up and you will actually go back up. So as I said, the easiest way I found is just to get above them and then to grapple across and land on them or sort of do your best to. But it is a bit of a nightmare to get around to actually get them. But anyway, once you, um, you're you done, you can just teleport back home or you can fall and you should, provided you haven't sort of flown around too much in space, fall back onto the island that you're on. Okay, so we'll just have a look. I got a huge haul of three and I was up there for about 20 minutes. So... Um, yeah, they they do take a bit to mine and you're not guaranteed to get one when you do mine. Um, if you are a glutton for punishment, you can always go up and mine and sell them at the auction house. They are a premium item, so you will get the premium currency for them. Um, and you do need them to craft a few things. Anyhow, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.